morning person girls i hope you guys are doing awesome this morning so right now wherever you are just stand on your feet you're gonna go straight into a worship stand stand are you standing okay see you in a sec
worship, right? Right? Do you enjoy it? Okay, now we're going to close our eyes and we're going to go straight to the word. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. Let us pray. Father God, we come before you this morning, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you have given us another chance to worship you, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, Lord, that we are able to stand together into your house, Lord. And we pray that as we share your word right now, Lord, that you minister into our heart. I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. A teacher of the law came up and tried to trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, what do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. You are right, Jesus replied, do this and you will live. The teacher of the law then asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this parable. There once was a man who was going from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him and took his robes and beat him up, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest was going down that road. But when he saw the man, he walked onto the other side of the road. A Levite arrived next went over and looked at the man and then walked onto the other side of the road. Then a Samaritan who was traveling that way arrived on the scene. When he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper. And when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. Jesus concluded, In your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbor toward the man attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, The one who was kind to him. Jesus replied, Go and do the same. Good morning, heroes! Did you know that God will always raise up heroes to help those that are in need? That is why we are His heroes. True heroes act according to God's will. But what does that mean? It means that they do what God wants them to do. They are obedient. They listen to Him and be heroes on this earth helping other people. Just like the kind man, the Samaritan, hey, wasn't he amazing? Who stopped and helped the man who had been robbed and beaten up. He was so kind and took care of him. God saved the beaten up man through that hero. See, wherever we go, we can be a hero if we just help people and show them that God is able to save them. If we see something is wrong and pretend that we don't see, or if we see something is wrong and we join in doing the wrong thing, then we are not a hero. So if we see someone stealing something that is not theirs okay and we pretend that we don't see that is wrong that is not a hero we need to tell the person they are stealing from and tell the person that is stealing that what they are doing is wrong that is what heroes do if we see someone throwing up paper on the floor a hero picks up the paper and throws it in the bin A hero sits with someone who is lonely and talks to them. A hero says kind and not unkind words and always tells someone that God will save them, especially when they hear bad news. So now I'm going to ask you this question. Are you a hero? Come on, I can't hear you. Are you a hero? Yes, I can hear there's a whole lot of heroes in the room right now. Of course you are. And remember, a hero always tells people that God will save them. Come on, let's pray together. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, help me today to tell people how much 
you love them. And help me to be a hero wherever I go. Please bless my feet that wherever I go, I can be a hero for you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, say amen. I want to hear a big shout. Amen. That's awesome. Okay, so we are going over to a really cool time in Active Children's Church. It's Joshua and Caleb's Corner, and I am so excited for today's activity. I'm sure that you are too. I will see you next week, boys and girls. Love you lots. Bye. Wow, look at our good Samaritan shoes. Stylish. Yes. So remember the good Samaritan, wherever he went, he did good, hey? He helped the man on the side of the road. Yeah. And that's what we're going to, to do with our shoes. We're going to help and be the hero that everyone needs. Look at me. We're going to help and be the hero everyone needs, right? This is what we're going to use for today for our slippers, okay? So we're going to have different color cardboard. So you can use any color you want. And sugar. And scissors. Scissors. And some, some decorations. And yes. A pen. A pen. A pen. And some stars for decorations. Yeah. Some glitter. And some blue stars. Yes, and the main thing that we need is our shoe. Like my shoe. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I, this is what I, we're going to do. I only have one, so... so. Okay, so, so before we do any decorating, we take our pieces of paper. Okay. Wait. Then we have it. So let me just do this quickly. A piece so you of take paper? one colour for I the actual think. sole of the shoe. You have it like this. Okay. What are you making? We're making slippers, remember? That's my shoe. Okay, then we're going to take our shoe. We're going to put it like that. And then we're going to take our pen. Let's get our pen. And we're going to trace a around. A black pen. Yes. You or you can use a pencil, whatever. Ooh, but you trace ooh, around to make sure that you get the shoe. shoe. Yeah. And then you cut out the shape. Okay. Then look what we get. We get our soles. So I used don't, don't, red. I mean, those are mine. These are yours, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. But I love red, so that oh, red. Yes, that's red. That's that so red. these are our soles. See our two feet. Now we're going to make. Mine. Now we're going to take. Mine. Yes, yeah, yeah, yours is coming. Oh. Then we're going to take a different oh, yeah, color. My red one. We did green. green. And we cut oh. out strips of green. Wait, okay, that like that. Two greens. Yes. Because we this one on the outside and yes. the other one on the outside. So then we take our glue. We're going to put some glue. glue here. Strong glue. We're going to do that. I'm stronger, Mommy. And then we're going to put our glue, I mean our this little strip, and there. Then you can ask your Mommy or your Daddy to help you with this Yes, you glue. can. And then we're going to take our other one. Other one. And we're going to put the other one there too. So let's just do and then this. Done, and then we don't to take my other red shoe and then, that, and then the other glue. Can. So we're going to have to let that dry. So we're going to take this one. Oh, so we did one. these. Yeah, those are blue. See, we're making our shoes. Can you see our shoes? I thought we can play with it. Okay. Yes, and that's how you do them, right? Now you have to let the glue dry. It depends on what glue you use. So you must let the glue dry before you can actually play with them. <laughs> I need to. My eye can put them on. See, that two ups. No, we don't make mine. Let's see the other ones are dry. Right, so we have our slippers. Shall we start decorating them? Yes. You can use coloring crayons. You can use, yes, you can use stars.
our shoes. Shall we try them on? Yes. We have to let them dry first. Let's try them on after they've dried. Spirit. 